Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you enjoy talk about contemporary and high-end handbags, small other goods, some videos on makeup and even food, you're gonna wanna take a quick second and hit that red subscribe button down below. Also make sure to ding the bell so that you are alerted to the next time I do upload a video. The topic for today's video is going to be a review on the Chanel Classic card holder that you see right here. I'll give you all the basic information on this card holder as well as show you how much it can hold so that if you have been contemplating purchasing this small leather good and adding it to your collection, you will be able to determine whether or not this piece is right for you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here is the Chanel Classic card holder. It measures 4.4 inches across, 3 inches in height, and 0.8 inches in depth. It currently retails for 550 US dollars in 2019. It features a lovely CC logo right in the front here, as well as the classic Chanel flap style. The back is plain. There's no extra pocket or detail, just the lovely quilting of the leather. Open it up and you will see that there is one card slot right in the front here. And then you've got one large compartment. At the top over here, you will see that it says Chanel and it's got the little CC logo beneath it. And then over here, it'll tell you where it's made. And this particular card holder was made in Italy. If you want to know the location of the authenticity number, it is in this pocket here on the outside, on this wall, I guess you would say. So open it up and you'll see the square there. And that's where the serial number for this card holder will be. A nice short and sweet tour of this beautiful small leather good. What I'll do now is pack it up and show you how much it can hold. All right, here is the classic card holder all loaded up. At the moment, I have it loaded up purely as a card holder, meaning there are no bills or coins in here right now. Off camera, I tested the limits of the card holder and found the magic number for me to be 14. So there are a total of 14 cards in here, including one in that slip pocket that you saw earlier. And the type of cards in here right now are plastic. So they are a credit card thickness, a loyalty card thickness. If you want to use it for business cards, chances are your business cards will be thinner than a plastic card. So you could certainly fit more in the way of business cards, but for plastic card purposes, 14 was the magic number. You've got the one right here, like I said, and then 13 more on the inside. And typically what I do when I'm loading this up, I will make sure to put about half on this back wall and then half on this front wall before closing it up. That way it evenly distributes the credit cards between the leather here. And this is actually what I use to gauge the max number of cards. I found that if I put 15 or 16, that the leather here started to ripple a little more than I would like. So I worried about the integrity of the leather on the sides here. So that's kind of how I landed on that magic number 14. If you want to use this as a mini wallet, meaning some cards and some bills, you can certainly do that. It actually is an excellent mini wallet. So I'll show you how that looks. I'll take out some cards here. We've got two, four, six out of here. So we've got eight left in here. The one in the front right here, and then seven more right in the main compartment. And now we'll put six bills in here. Close it up perfect little mini wallet. Now you can also put coins in here as well. I personally, if I'm going to use it as a mini wallet, will not put coins, but like I said, you certainly can do that. So I did grab some coins just to show you what it would look like with coins, cash, and cards. If I were you and wanted to put coins in here, my suggestion would be to put them between the bills and the cards so as to not stain the interior of the card holder. I think that's kind of a nice little way to keep the interior clean because you know coins aren't particularly clean. Got a few coins in there and now you've got cash card and coins in here. And as you can see, there's no strain on the leather. It's retained its shape perfectly and it is an excellent mini wallet. 
in my opinion, I think it is a great small leather good to have in your closet. As you saw, it can serve as an excellent card holder, be it business cards, credit cards, or loyalty cards. It also serves as a wonderful mini wallet where you can hold a combination of cards, coins, and bills. I think it is just a beautiful, beautiful little piece from Chanel. It's a nice gateway piece into the fashion house, in my opinion. It has all the classic features of Chanel. You've got the look of the flap right here that is classic Chanel, the double CCs, the quilted pattern to the leather. It's just a beautiful little piece to have in your closet. That is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and were able to determine whether or not the Chanel Classic card holder is right for you. If you like this video, please do give it that thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also be sure to ding the bell so that you are alerted to the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.